Long time no see, guys. It's mail day. It's time for some mail. I'm gonna open up this mail. Uh, it's actually already open. I didn't actually open what's in it yet. I just opened it so that I wouldn't have to try and open it with one hand. So, here we go. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Ta-da! Dude, he's so clean looking. Ash Ketchum SH figure art with Pokemon written upside down for some reason. Here we got all our... Well, where's the Toei sticker at, yo? Maybe this SH doesn't use Toei. That's a sticker, though. Shop Pro 40. It better not be a knockoff. I'll kill somebody. I will kill somebody. The box is in meh shape. It's, it's kind of beat up a little bit. Um, it's alright, though. I'm not too worried about the box. I am going to keep it, but I'm not, like, super worried about the box. I'm just really hyped to have this dope-ass figure. So I'm going to get him out of the box, and then I'll show you what he looks like. All right, so here's Ash out of the packaging, and he is so clean. I love this figure. This is so sick. Um, oh god, my one complaint is pretty much everyone else's complaint with this figure, and that is that I wish it came with a couple more accessories. Um, it's got the Pokeball hand, the pointing hand, and the extra head sculpt, and you can swap the hat back and forth on the head sculpts. Um. I wish that he had, because both of these separate hands, so this Pokeball is sculpted into the hand, um, and it is, it goes on his right hand, and then this pointer hand right here also goes on his right hand, so his left hand doesn't have any, or am I saying, I'm mixing it up, but whatever, one of his hands has two hands to swap, and his other hand you can't swap for anything, so he's stuck with a fist on one side at all, all the time. Uh, it comes with that cool little cradle that you plug into Ash's back, and you can put Pikachu on it, and so it looks like Pikachu's hanging out on his shoulder. Um, this is the Ash from the 20th anniversary movie, the Pokemon, the movie, I Choose You. Um, the Ash in that is close to classic Ash, but a little bit different. Um, that shirt is black in the original cartoon, but in some episodes it almost feels like it was drawn to be like a dark green so i don't know maybe it is supposed to be green originally but it still looks really good it looks like classic ash to me um if you're not really looking for it to look different then nobody's going to notice the difference in my case somebody thought this was actually like a figure from the 90s um, when i showed them a picture of it they were like oh yeah i used to have that and i was like no no you didn't this is new um and my god, the quality is so much better than what we got in the 90s too. So I, I would have killed for an Ash figure like this when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, now I have one as an adult. So, you know, you gotta you gotta do it. You gotta get it at some point. But yeah, so it comes with the little Pikachu. Pikachu articulates as well. Um, Pikachu's like bottom half is on a ball joint. The middle half is on a ball joint. And the top half is on a ball joint. So you can kind of get him wiggling around doing... Little sideways pose, like that. You can get him doing a bunch of different little poses and stuff. I don't really like that his arms are stuck forward like this. He's like a zombie or something, but he looks really good when he's up on Ash's so shoulder. He looks really cool. Um, and then, of course, this scales pretty well with Tomy figures. Hold on, I'll show you. So, as you can see, they scale pretty well with Ash here. Um, the Tomy like, figure... Um, the Ash figure that's made by Tomy is a little bit smaller. I, he's, like, literally by, like, half an inch shorter, I think. And then he's a lot thinner. This Ash has got, like, a fuller look to him. Um, but I think it scales really well with these Tomy figures. And it makes me want to collect a lot more of these Tomy figures. Because it would be really cool to just have a bunch of Pokemon around Ash. Here's a Tomy Pikachu next to him. Yeah, the size is pretty good. Let me see what those two Pikachus look like next to each other. Yeah, they're essentially the same size. This guy's a little bit smaller. The uh, the one that came with the SH figure is definitely a little bit smaller. He looks like a little baby Pikachu almost compared to this guy. But it looks cool. And that makes me... That's curious if these... Uh, if the SH Pokemon is, like, scaled smaller. But the, but the Tomy, like people are scaled smaller so that means the pokemon are like really big for the tomy figures but i think these scale really nice together so 
Yeah, can't wait to continue growing the Pokemon collection. I have the other three Eevee evolutions. Uh, the only ones that Tomy hasn't made yet is Leafeon and Glaceon. And I would love to get them because it would be really cool to have all of the Eevee evolutions. But, uh, but yeah. So that's my little review. Kind of. I don't even know if it was a review. It was just kind of me going over everything. I really like the figure though. There's my review. I think it's really dope. Um, and then like I said, I'm going to collect a lot more of these Tomy figures. I have a Mewtwo on the way. I'm planning to get that Snorlax ASAP. Um, and I'd love to find Kyogre and all of them, but they're pretty expensive and hard to find in the wild these days. So I don't know if I'll ever get them or not, but we'll see. But yeah, stay real, guys. Keep hunting. I hope you guys find what you're looking for. We gotta wrap some Pokemon. You just do the singing. I'll take care of the hard part. Let's get it on. I want to be the best that ever was.